What is good guys back with another Ultra Sun and Moon all your life. Gonna be using Nagana Dell this time, use it while you can. Team is gonna be in the description. I might change it up and use different teams in his life. But the other day when I tried to record um where I, when I didn't where I didn't upload it because my voice died halfway through the life. I changed up the teams a lot and it didn't work that well, so I should probably just use the same team the entire life. Let's see, let's see. This guy doesn't have the best ranking. Um, he has AV gear plus Heatran, so like, it, this is either AV or this is Spadev. So you can see he's prepped for Nagonadel somewhat. And just leave a Clefable here and uh, get up the rocks. I'm predicting this to be Defog Rotom or Defog Land, obviously, like one of the two. Uh, nice new meta. But it does nothing, so he's just defensive, obviously. Um, he's probably gonna go to Heatran here, or his Megirna. Yeah, this life is not going to be that long, uh, kind of like the last life, 30-ish minutes. Let me know in the comments if you like longer lives, but at the moment I'm kind of sick, so I cannot do that long lives. So see, they got a Rocks Taunt or Flash Can here. Um, oh, by the way, he also has Naganadel, so I have to be careful that I don't lose to that mon. I think Greninja is my play here. Nah, see, he does Magma Stone, okay. And now he's probably going to go to Rotom or Kaleo, so I should just Dark Pulse. I mean, if he goes Kelly, Harry Pump does more, but... Huh. I wish I had Spikes, I would click Spikes here if I had it, but yeah, let's just Hyro Pump. He goes to Megirna, okay. We do connect. That does all fucked on. Wait, why? Why does, why was Desi switch in my guy? Let's, let's connect. Oh no, we would've gotten Ash Form. Instead, we have a dead Greninja. Like, Greninja and Ash Form would've destroyed this guy, like, that's so sad, like... That's so annoying, I don't know. Like, Rotom Dark Pulse after I got Ash from Rotom gets destroyed by that. Not sure why he didn't go to Kalio or Rotom. Like, you should be... If you're not AV gear, you should be Spadev Rotom on his team to check Ash Grant, because Kalio alone isn't the best answer. Oh well, this is uh, really annoying. I can go to Nag Naganal Dial here and set up, but it's probably too early for that. I don't know, let's let's try to get a sweep at this one. Because he's at minus one, which means he won't do much damage to me. And if he doesn't go hard Heatran, I can just set up and sweep. Um, unless he's Scarf and I get Adele. Like even if he's Scarf and I get a speed boost, then it's a speed tie. Yeah, he goes Heatran, but the thing is I can just nasty plot again. And I'm pretty sure he can Oko me, right? Yeah, and now I can Z move. Like he should go to McGee and he on the Z move. So I want a nasty plot again, but it's low ladder, so I'm not gonna do that. Damn it! I I set the play and then I didn't do anything about it. Damn, that sucks. Is he gonna Draco here, expecting him to go to Heatran? Because if he gives me the speed boost, he's in a bad position. Yeah, exactly. If you break that correct. I should have just fire blasted on the switch and I wanna oh that kills holy shit. So now we get a speed boost, right? This is just why this mon is broken. So I lost the first 50-50, but I like I knew he should have gone to Gina, but I didn't know how good my opponent was because his win loss was out of garbage. He goes to Landris, but even if he's scarf we outspeed him. And we can kill him with Draco Meteor. I don't know if Fire Blast kills him. I'm just gonna Draco. So yeah, we're not gonna sweep, but we got at least two kills. So you guys can see how busted Naganadel is. If I made the prediction, predicting his Megiana and Fire Blasted, or so Nasty Pilot again, maybe we would have just 6 0 him. And yeah, let's just weaken his Rotom. 61, amazing. Not sure why he pumped there, but. We're actually really weak to Rotom now. Uh, and now we have a Ferrothon. What am I saying? I forgot about the Ferro. So what I can do here is Ferrothorn and Power Whip. Yeah, that seems like the play. And my Heatran is still healthy, so I should be fine with the opposing Naganadel. Okay, Defox. Hopefully I connect this. Yes, nice. So we get rid of Rotom. So Naganadel already putting in work in the first game, which is kind of cool. Yesterday when I used it, it didn't put in that much work for me because people like over prepped for now gonna deal with that they always have AV Tars Nice, nice play on his part. 
If you see good swords here, that's a nice play again. But yeah, amazing. These guys are playing the shit out of me. Um, I should be a bit careful. If he doubles back to Nagnadel now. Hmm. Damn, this guy played that really well. He just goes to gear. I still have to fear him having flash can though. I go Heatran here. Since if he has Focus Blast, I'm screwed. I think he has Focus Blast. But why did he set up on Cliff Fable then? But I go to Landers here. The problem is he has a Shift Gear Boost so that speeds my Landers. So he has t bolt okay. Um, this would be bad if he has Ice Beam, but we will find out now. Actually, we will just go heat turn because he's either gonna ice beam or flare can. Yeah, yeah, I predicted that immediately. Now he's at minus one, and now we can just click magma storm. He's not gonna be able to do any types of damage to me. I kind of want to toxic breathe in the Kaldio here, which is what I should have done. He's probably just gonna water move here because he has no reason not to do that. Uh, this should be at kill me. Is that specs? Cause I'm super deaf, fair, so I'm a bit surprised. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run a Calc real quick. Um, Keldio. Choice Scarf versus Feral Thorn. How much speed death did I have? 334. Yeah, we have a lot of speed death. I'm pretty sure that's specs. Skull does 13 to 15, and I did 18. So that means I can go land on outspeed him and just have to calc if off quick kills from this range. My landers would just sweep him if he's not scuff. Not gonna deal. I don't even know if that would oko me. So off quick is a roll, I don't wanna risk that. But if I go clef, he can potentially win the game. So I guess I'll risk no no no, I'm not gonna risk the roll, I'm just gonna U-turn out. U-turn to get the necessary chip so off quick guaranteed kills, that's the play to make. Then we sack the heat run and we click off quick three times and win if he stays in here. Do we sack Clef? No, I think we sack. I'm not sure if we sack Clef or heat run. But yeah, since he went gear now, we have to go uh, heat run. Man, I should have just like off quick the kill here, I think. But like it was a roll, I didn't want to risk that. Now if he goes to kill you, I'm, I would just sack my- Oh no, 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 I'm paralyzed, which means he can potentially set up a Naganadel on this heat chain. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to get the roll with my... Second Clef, because Clef lets Naganadel set up. Yeah, but if I don't get the off quick rule, I think I just lose. Or should I U-turn? So I can U-turn here, and then I click off quick twice and win. As long as it's not Sash or Scarf Nagnadel, I should just win. Let's off quick twice. Yeah, if I'm not playing this optimal, yeah, it's, it happens. I'm kind of rusty, I haven't played in a fat minute. So hopefully he's not Sash. I mean, if he's Sash, he probably can't Oko us, right? Maybe. Maybe he could have oko us. So we're around 1500. We're gonna get another one with this team and I mean I do wanna switch it up but the problem is I have a lot of teams that have like the same mods like Heatran, Landris, Huninja and they all have different sets and then if they change up the team in my head then there will be Scarf Lando but then if it's Defensive Lando I might make a play that I will regret later. <laughs> so this guy has Naganadel as well, they all know. Use it before it gets banned. Um, this guy's a shitty win loss again. I can just leave a Scarf Landris here. Uh, I don't want to risk this Greninja being Scarf, but it shouldn't be Scarf actually. But I'll just play it safe, go Ferrothorn. As he's. What? This guy's wild, so he low kicks me. So he's either gonna low kick again or all pummeling or switch into. into what? Katana. So I think a double into Landris is a fine play. Just to drill, okay. 
<coughs> oh my bad guys, holy shit. Yeah, I'm still a little bit sick. I hope, I hope he, does, he just didn't get blown away too much. So we can U-turn here. Him staying in kind of confirms that he's Sash, probably. Man, I should have paused it. <laughs> I couldn't pause it fast enough. Staying in makes me think that he's Sash, but what? I U-turn because I didn't want him to go into Wulu and then get Grassy to run up and take nothing from Earthquake. So I think I'll just go Greninja here. Okay, he's the Iron Head. I guess he could also be Scarf. I don't know why he Iron Head. There was an unplay. I want to Ice Beam here because it covers the top of Bulu. Yup. That's why I like Ice Beam on Green. For Bulu and for... I think he's AV. You get a Freeze. Like, he took that really well. I don't know if he's AV. You get the Rose or Freeze. Doesn't matter. Uh, we get the Ash Roll now. If I was him, I would have gone to Bishop or Greninja. I would not have given me the Ash Roll. Yeah, he's probably Scarf the way he's playing this. Um, so he's gonna U-turn or... I mean, he could technically still pump here. I don't, I don't know if I want to risk my Landris. So he gotta go Clefable. So he just U-turns. I mean, he could have technically gunk it there, but I didn't think he would gunk shot. Because that would give my Naganadel setup. Talking about Naganadel, he brings out his Naganadel, but we have Grassy Train from him and leftovers on my Heatran to stay healthy. So we should be fine. Do elf power here. It's gonna do like 75. That's 59, okay. It was a low roll, I assume. I don't know what I did so little. And yeah. We're gonna be able to beat it one on one, but you guys can see Spidefrin almost died to beat Naganadel. And if he played it smarter and chipped my heat turn before he set up, he could have won with Naganadel. That one is stupid. So I'm not gonna give you the boost, my guy. He's probably gonna get a second sword. A knockoff, so he goes for SD. That's a wild play. Maybe I should have stayed in not leveling him SD. But I can just quake here and I can water shuriken him right after. Now I lost my scarf, so I don't have to speed anymore. Yeah, I can just water shuriken here. Oh, he didn't even get the speed boost. What am I saying? I can just I can just dark bolts. Now, what I'm showing you, I like that a bit better because. Exactly, Bishop resists Dark Pulse, that's why I wanted to Water Shuriken. And I didn't want to miss Pump, so Water Shuriken was just the perfect mid ground. I think we win this game as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I saw the kick as I used this team on ladder, so credit goes to him. I don't know who made the team, I just snatched it. They call me Team C. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why I stayed in. I was just, in my mind, I was just, oh, I win this game, and now I just sacked my Greninja. That was an awful play. My, in my mind, I already won the game. I don't know what I'm doing. Damn, that play was atrocious, but... I think Nagadadel just wins now. I guess that's why I sacked it, so I can win with Nagadadel the GOAT. So, we have to hit a fire last year, as we do connect. I know it's Flamethrower, pe some people like Flamethrower better, but... Some, you don't get certain kills with Fire Blast. I think you Oko Steal at plus two. That's just some... I don't really remember the calcs, but I think there's like some specific roles where you rather have Fire Blast. He's Scarf, uh, which means he outspeeds me. Um, I'm gonna go Clefable because no one no one gunk shots uh, Magnadel. Yeah, so now I can pretty much double out expecting the Excadrill to come out. Um, into Ferrothorn. Yeah, let's go on a Ferrothorn here. And uh, let's just uh, Leech Seed. Because I want to keep it healthy if possible. Thankfully we connect and... I'm not sure if he's Scarf. Because if he's Scarf, I'm going to be able to go Clef. No, I just Paw up here and as long as I connect I'm fine. He's not Scarf, okay. So we do kill his Excadrill, right? And Greninja does not have a move that can that can sweep me, so he just forfeits. Yeah, I'm liking this team. I'm gonna keep using this. Okay, everyone using Naganadel. Everyone. Low ladder, high ladder, everyone. But a high ladder, they have they have better checks for it most of, like always. Low ladder, sometimes they don't have checks for it, and you just run through the sixth. But yeah, I'll just lead with. 
Greninja. I'm like, Greninja is like one of these ones you just click it mindlessly. The problem in this game is gonna be the Magnus Zone that can trap my Ferrothorn. This is really annoying actually. So I'm gonna go Clef in case he's U turn Scarf. Yeah, he's Scarf. So everyone is using Scarf Greninja on low ladder. It seems to outspeed Snaganadel after it gets a speed boost. But they're not raising, using AV Taros but Death Trend for some reason. Actually, one of the guys had it, but this he doesn't have it. So let's go Heat Trend. Mm, he doubled the Magnus on. I don't get that play. You can just Magma Storm here. Yeah. I would click Roxy if I had it. But now you can actually like Volt or Tebow and weaken me for Nine Adele, which is a bit scary. That's why I'm such a big fan of that ABR team that I used in the last video. Check that out if you haven't already. It's gonna be linked at the end of the video and in the description. Uh, it has the Death Turn plus Grassy Turin and AV Bulu, which is just amazing. Grassy Turin plus Lefties means your Heatron is always healthy, right? Like it's easier to keep it healthy. I'm also a big fan of Wish Pass into Spadeftran, but there's not that many good Wish Passes. Hopefully I can connect this nice. And that is a respectable chunk considering I have no special attack investment. Um, Gareth is a threat because if I go Pharaoh, Pharaoh's like my only check for it, but if he doubles into Magnezone, I'm in a bad position. And that subbing ma means he can now go into Magnezone on the Power Whip. As I should have doubled. I actually called the play, but since it's Loletta, I was like, maybe he would stay in. Let's just get up a spike and potentially help my Nagano a little speed later with that little spike. It's only potential default as Landorus, I think. Man, I should have tried to switch at least. I mean, I can go go Ninja and click Hydro Pump, show me your switchings. Is that a sol- he did 60 to me, I don't know if that's a solvest. Okay, if he's a solvest, um, okay, I'm gonna calc that. I should have calc that before, before I went to it. It was a misplay, actually, Ferrothorn. I'm, like, really spidef on this Ferrothorn. Like, 334 spidef. Yeah, so he's not- he might be AV, so I just got a land here on the electric move. And make up for my misplay. Wait, why would you flash cam? Yeah, this guy is horrible. What the fuck? So if I had a pump there, I would have gotten Ash most likely. Whatever, dude. I want to HP IC, but you turn as the mid ground play that catches the Gyarados and the land. Yeah, I know. I like. I know. I went into. I shouldn't have went to my grand. For some reason, I thought he was specs because I'm speed that far, but like no. So we catch the, but you didn't catch uh, the Gera at the land, that's why I made that play. I can go Naganadel here and click Sludge Wave. Yeah, yeah, that works, that works. He does not have good switch ins, I mean, he has a mana zone. But I don't want a nasty plot and have him stay in and go for Sky Strike, that would be bad for me. I have a feeling he's gonna go zone and I wanna predict it because I think I just win if I predict this mana zone. Because if I nasty plot and then fire dust, I get a kill and a speed boost. And it's only way of revenging me is... Okay, Scarf Greninja, he still revenges me, never mind, yeah. He is Mega Gyarados and Crunch or Ice Fang would do a lot. So we have to pick him off and we force him to go to Greninja here and click Ice Beam, right? It's gonna give us a free switch into... Wait, what is he doing? That just... This just dies to Z-Draco. What are you doing? It should die. Oh, he's Sash. Okay, okay. I mean, interesting. Maybe now just go go ninja and click Dark Pulse. And I don't think he can prevent my Ash. I mean, can you go with his own go ninja? I guess. Now he goes Naganadel, he's gonna get blown away by this. I'm surprised he lived that. If he's not Scarf, we get the Ash form here. I mean, he can technically switch, but to prevent the Ash form, but now he already let this Naganadel take the hit. Okay, so we don't have to fear the opposing Naganadel sweep anymore, at least that's something. <laughs> I mean, it does give us the Ash form, so I think we can just win with Greninja. We just have to be careful about his Scarf Greninja and not mess up like I did last game when I was getting too excited. <laughs> and forgot it. 
Yeah, like I just thought I won for some reason and then I messed up. But I still won, thankfully. But I'm assuming it's gonna get down here. I still wanna. Huh. Each one lets Lando in. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cause Cafebo lets Magnezone in. Nah, it doesn't matter if Magnezone comes out. I should have also could have also gone a cliff. But just in case he gang shot a Dale into Heatran. I didn't think he was gonna water move there. Heatran was just his best play, right? And now I'm forced into my Oh I think I should have gone. Should I go Clef or Lando? I mean my Lando's not doing much this game, let's just go. Oh, it's Scarf! I thought I was See this is what I'm talking about, why I shouldn't switch up teams. Like I did not switch up teams, but I just have been using so many different teams. And I mix up if the land was defensive or offensive because I use like so many different teams. Uh, so I can just you turn here. That, that worked out perfectly, but I thought I was defensive land for some reason. Next like Garf Lando can still put a work on speeding Lily and Zone, which is amazing. So looking back at it, I kind of regret my play and I think I would have got Clef. But it worked out perfectly, so it's fine. So he has to sack here or switch and give me momentum. So he goes Lele. Unless he scarf Lele, I'm pretty sure Greninja can kill him. I don't want to go Heatran and have him be all out pummeling and blow me away. So I'll just go Greninja here. If he's double scarf, this guy is insane. I don't, I don't know. He has scarf Greninja already, so he should not be scarf Lele as well. That would be odds. Yeah, nice. So he goes to Greninja here again. This time I'm going Clefable, just in case he clicks water move, because last time I went heat trend. Yeah, he keeps you turning completely fine. So he's gonna go Magnezone on land, or probably Magnezone here, and I'll just go heat trend. If he Volt switches, so be it. He's getting chipped by the spike, it's completely fine. I don't see myself losing this if I don't misplay. And we're gonna get one more after this and I call it a day. I see flash cannons for some reason. Um... But yeah, I just map my storm. I know Elf Power kills him, but in case he switches to Landris. I don't want a toxic because Mag Magma Storm covers him staying in and him switching. As long as it hits, but obviously it doesn't hit because Pokemon is a good game. I'm still gonna Magma Storm though. Wait, what am I doing? I completely forgot about that he's AV and that he can live. So I should have just off port. But I, I Magma Stomped again, like I stand by my play. I Magma Stomped again, call me Blunder. I Magma Stomped again just in case he wants to pivot into Landers. And so back in the cliff here. And Rock Slide. So he doesn't even have a good move to hit my heat trip. Magnezone dies to spikes, so I think I can call mine here. On the Magnezone sag. Yup. I mean, I also could have softballed it, it would have been probably a better play. Yeah, softball would have been a better play, yeah. What am I doing? But I still win this game and it's fine. Because now he can gunk shot me, so I'm gonna go Heatran. Yeah. Mm, we just got Toxic here because it's more accurate than Magma Storm. To kill the Landorus, and he forfeited. Okay, nice. 